This video touches on complex and highly sensitive theological and eschatological topics. Many Christian interpretations of end-time events regarding Israel are based on various readings of the Bible, particularly prophecies. However, it's important to approach this subject carefully, as different Christian denominations and theological perspectives have varying views on the role of Israel, Jews, and the end times. Let me attempt to provide an argument based on biblical scriptures by reflecting on the essence of these questions. 1. Israel's role in end times prophecy. Some Christian eschatological interpretations view the nation of Israel as central to end time events, believing that a significant period of tribulation, including invasion or conflict, will lead to the Jewish people recognizing Jesus as the Messiah. Zechariah 12.10 And I will pour out on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem a spirit of grace and supplication. They will look on me, the one they have pierced, and they will mourn for him as one mourns for an only child, and grieve bitterly for him as one grieves for a firstborn son. This passage is often interpreted by some Christians to mean that Israel will one day recognize Christ, and this realization comes after a period of tribulation. Romans 11, 25-26 I do not want you to be ignorant of this mystery, brothers and sisters, so that you may not be conceited. Israel has experienced a hardening in part until the full number of the Gentiles has come in, and in this way all Israel will be saved. This implies that Israel's turning to Christ is part of God's plan, which some believe will be brought about through difficult circumstances. 2. Prolonging God's plan as the work of the deceiver. In the Bible, any attempt to divert or thwart God's sovereign plan is seen as aligning with the devil's work. Matthew 16, 23. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an offense to me, for you are not mindful of the things of God, but the things of men. Even Peter, in his misunderstanding, was rebuked for trying to prevent the suffering of Christ, which was necessary for God's plan of salvation. Some could argue that attempts to prevent Israel's prophetic tribulation, if part of God's plan, would align with a similar misunderstanding. Revelation 12, 9 The great dragon was hurled down, that ancient serpent called the devil, or Satan, who leads the whole world astray. Any influence that seeks to derail God's prophetic timeline, including those that hinder the recognition of Christ, can be viewed as a form of deception. 3. Blind Allegiance and Misplaced Trust There are biblical warnings about following the majority without discernment, often comparing such behavior to those who acted without understanding in biblical history. In the story of the golden calf in Exodus 32, 1-4, the people of Israel quickly turned to idolatry when Moses delayed in returning from Mount Sinai, showing how easily people can be led astray when they lose patience or trust in God's timing or are too lazy to seek truths. Luke 23, 21, But they kept shouting, Crucify him! Crucify him! This verse references how the crowd, influenced by the Jewish religious leaders of the Sanhedrin, called for Jesus' crucifixion without understanding the significance of his identity or mission. Both examples serve as warnings to those who follow the majority or a particular political or religious stance without a full understanding of God's purposes. 4. Questioning. Who is truly Jewish? The Bible also addresses the question of who a Jew is truly, particularly in the New Testament, which redefines Jewishness in terms of faith and spiritual identity, not merely ethnic lineage. Romans 2, 28, 29. A person is not a Jew who is one only outwardly, nor is circumcision merely outward and physical. No, a person is a Jew who is one inwardly, and circumcision is circumcision of the heart, by the Spirit, not by the written code. This verse emphasizes that being a true Jew is about inward faith and transformation, not just outward religious or ethnic identity. Revelation 2.9 I know your afflictions and your poverty, yet you are rich. 
I know about the slander of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. This scripture is sometimes interpreted as a warning against those who falsely claim to be Jews, not in the sense of ethnicity, but in the sense of true spiritual alignment with God. Conclusion In summary, certain biblical passages can be interpreted to argue that 1. Israel's suffering or invasion may be a necessary step for the Jewish people to turn to Christ. Zechariah 12.10, Romans 11.25.26 2. Those who seek to prevent God's plan are working against His purposes, possibly under deception. Matthew 16.23, Revelation 12-9 3. Blindly following a political or religious stance without discernment is akin to the mistakes made by the Israelites in worshipping the golden calf or the crowd that crucified Christ, Exodus 32, 1-4, Luke 23, 21. 4. The Bible redefines true Jewish identity in terms of inward faith rather than outward appearance or lineage, Romans 2, 28, 29, Revelation 2, 9. It's crucial to understand that these interpretations are subject to theological debate, and different Christian denominations may offer varying views on these matters. It is always wise to approach such discussions with humility and discernment. Do you think it's easy to take the blood of Christ on you and on your children? You are still paying for it till this very day, my beloved Israel. Do you have rest? No. Do you have peace? No. Can America give you peace? No. Did Great Britain give you peace? No. Can any power give you peace? No. You have the money of the world, you Freemason. Can you give peace to you and your family? Because peace only the beloved of the Father can give. His name is Jesus. Yeshua. Isn't it? Shalom. Yeshua, they rejected the Lord. He will take them through the vineyard, uh, through the wine press of the wrath of God and will decimate. Then they will see who Jesus Christ is. He's been crying out for over for thousands of years, for thousands of years.